Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of Sauna Talks. With me, John McCormick Jr., and we have alongside me Garrett Welch. Welcome to the show, Garrett. All right, hello, McCormick. Uh, first episode. We're going to start off by going right into and saying, what the fuck is a sauna talk? All right, what are sauna talks? To us, every time you go to the gym, we go to the gym to work out. We don't really go to the talk and all that shit, and then most people do, right? So, but the best part of your talk, or any time you really do talk, is in the sauna after your workout. So right here, we're in the sauna talk right now. The best <laughs> conversation of the day. Definitely have to agree with that, honestly. You know, in the sauna, anything goes, you know. And uh, today we're going to be talking about, first off, in this hot topic of the coronavirus and what we've been doing. Like, what have you been doing, Garrett, in this in this coronavirus? All right. You guys are going to learn in sauna talks, it's complete transparency and just honesty. Now, for every single guy that's going to be in here right now, they all can agree, jerking off has increased at least 200%. Like, it's, it's stupid, the amount of times that it, it's happening right now. <laughs> Two, it's strictly home workouts. Like, home workouts here and there, but you can never do enough push-ups, so it's annoying. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Can't complain. That and just schoolwork and Xbox. That's all I've been doing. What are you, McCormick? Yeah, no, uh, I would have to agree with the the jerking off part. You know, it's just it's just something that's like I got nothing else to do. I'm like on my phone scrolling through Instagram. You see some hot model you're you're fucking following on Instagram, and you just go like, I could definitely do this. I got all this time in my hands right now. You know, you just yeah. do a couple a day. As sad as that sounds. Playing shit on an Xbox, I I literally bought VC on 2K because I got that bored. You know, that's just that's how you know this shit is awful. I started running. I hate running. My fucking legs are yeah, so. Yeah, I started long. running too. We I hate it too. In the middle of nowhere, it's just you know what? There's nothing else to do today. Let's go fucking run. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. You go outside, you just run, and you're just like, wow, this is what it feels like to be outside. And you're fucking yeah. running, getting a good workout in, and then you're just like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? I can't wait for this shit to end, honestly. Yeah, and let me tell you this right now. I yearn for the warmth of the woman right now. I really do. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. you're talking all these pe- like you're Snapchatting all these girls. If you're okay. like, you're, and then like, I'm wrong right now, but the confidence. I think since we've been quarantined for so long, we've just been getting weirder and weirder and weirder every single day to a point that you shoot your shot from like the half court line, not caring. <laughs> Every time. It's just... Yeah, it's just point. Ah, like, yeah, it's no. just... It's nah, the definitely. amount of TikTok women I have DM'd on Instagram is through the roof right now. Like, absolutely through the roof. So and, make and, it, yeah, what about Addison Ray? What about Addison How are you working with that? If Addison Ray is ever listening to this, she is the love of my life. She is. She doesn't know it. But I know it. And I probably about at least, like, what, 10 million other dudes think like me. But I know I'm going to stand out. Who else has grown out a strictly a mustache during all of quarantine right now? Go to them. Maybe Matt, Matt Segwinot. I don't know. You see Matt's uh, beard recently? Shit's I have insane. not. Had you, but... Dude, shit's insane. And, but, like, you see that, you know, Kyle Kuzma on the Lakers. Like, he uh, he made yeah, a TikTok set. Ray did not like it. Did not like that. That's a that's yeah. a, that's a low blow from Kuz. Okay. Yeah. No one else. Kyle Kuz, I will one on one you in basketball <laughs> for Addison Ray's love, and that is a fact. All right, we're gonna move on to the new subject of we're just talking about like you know women basketball with all this stuff for girls. We're gonna give you the nice little guys perspective real quick. All right, guys perspective time. All right, let's. <laughs> If you want to get noticed by a guy, it doesn't matter if you're the coolest girl ever. The first thing that we look at is your looks. Hands down. You could be the perfect match to me, but if you look like shit, I'm not going to fucking care. I'm going to look the other way. You know what I mean? Like, I might talk to you for a second, but if, I, if I'm out somewhere and I want to talk to someone, I'm going to go after the more attractive women. That simple. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like to second to second that. Yeah. Okay. So now for some reason on Skype you can't talk at the same time. Shit gets weird. But okay. So if to to counter that, if you're hot 
I hate this. Th- I think, I don't know if it's every guy's pet peeve, but it's my pet peeve. If you're a hot girl and you know you're hot and you add, you like act mad fucking cocky and think you're like the shit, no guy likes that, I don't think. I, I think it's about the personality and, and the looks. It is. But to start off, it's all person. It's all look to start off with. And I'm going to get into this too, Johnny. You go after the looks, but then you want someone to stay around that has a personality. Because you could be the hottest girl in the world. But if you're just annoying or if you're dumb or if you're just like so full of yourself that it's just like, all right, like, really, are you kidding me? Then I'm going to drop you. And then I'm going to talk. Then I'm going to start thinking, you know what, maybe I'll go after personality. We just keep on falling in the cycle of going after the girl that you find more attractive. And that's just how it is. Mm-hmm. It's right off looks. And you can look that all throughout society, too. Just look at Tinder, Bumble, even Grinder, like all of them. It's swiping right or left on looks. No one cares about That's all it is. Yeah. You know what I mean, and then there's guys like you know me and you. We're like you know what eyeball test. I might pass, right? I might pass the eyeball test. But talk to me. I'm getting buffed. I'm getting buffed up at least one or two levels. No, two two levels on a hotness scale. Just because you know what I fell in love with his personality every time. Every exactly. Time. Yeah. No, that's why I say all the time. I'm like yo, because I'm talking to this one girl right now, and I'm like. Hey, like, I know I'm not the best looking, but, like, my personality and, and, and comedic relief that I bring you every single day, like, that brings that shit up. Exactly. Uh, right. Insane. So, another, yeah, no. Another thing I bring up, I just, what I don't understand is, like, you know, we both work out. We both, like, want to be big all the time, all this stuff. And, like, every man, like, every man, I believe, should look like that, should work out, try getting big and be physically fit in some way. But why do girls go after the skinny guys? It seems like a lot. I hate it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, like this. I feel like it's because the skinny guys are the fucking losers and their daddy's got the money. So the girls go right crawling to the money and the skinny boy's got the money. He's driving that BMW. I don't know. Some bullshit. Whoever says they never follow money, that is so stupid. We all would follow money at one point. Okay? Like, really? Come on. You have to marry the person. But, like, if. If two guys that are both, like, let's say, like, one's a seven and one's an eight, right? And, like, the one that's a little bit hotter is just coming up in, like, a Toyota Camry or something. But the seven pulls up in, like, a Ferrari. Which one is the girl going to go to? Nine mm. times out of ten, she's going to the Ferrari. Eyeball test. She passed it better. That's how yeah. it is. Yeah, no, it's so fucked up. These girls are just, like, they shit on guys all the time how we're, like, slobs and we hit up all these girls. I'm like, yo... I'll look on any girl's Snapchat. You're fucking Snapchatting about a thousand dudes right now, so you can go fuck yourself. I don't get that. Ah. Ah. Insane. Yeah. But, uh, all right, so our next topic here, let's see. Let's talk about a world without sports, okay? How ass is this that we can't see LeBron goddamn James win a goddamn championship one more time? This is... You know I'm a huge LeBron advocate. You know I will pull out the stats for days about LeBron. I love LeBron. Everything about him from his personal life, his family, what he does for the community, and just how he just presents himself. He's the man. He's my favorite player to watch. And I'm not the biggest basketball fan. You know, I could, like, you know, that's probably like my third favorite sport to watch. Football, baseball, and basketball. But LeBron James is my number one. And for me not be able to see him or just anyone else's play and just sit down with the boys, have a couple of brews and wings, and just watch the game whenever I want, it's annoying. You just have to keep on re-watching the same highlight clips on YouTube. It gets boring after a little bit, and it's driving me insane. I just started getting to betting, too. You know what I mean? So, like, I was getting into it, winning here, losing there, but, like, I enjoyed it. Insane. Insane. Yeah, no, I- and I'll never forget when we went to the seaside a couple of years ago and fucking LeBron single-handedly beat the Boston Celtics. In yeah. Game 7. That was the best fucking thing ever. Because I was, we were all wasted, and we fucking just get the, get the notification from ESPN. LeBron James beats the Celtics in 7. I was like, no fucking way. But, yeah. Love that guy. Freaking out. I was freaking out. That was a great time. LeBron James is honestly the greatest player of all time. You know what I mean? Like, I, like, I always say this, right? Like, hey, Jordan is the GOAT, right? He's the GOAT. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows Jordan. But... The best basketball player of all time, hands down, is LeBron. Yeah, definitely. And you put LeBron on any fucking team, he's going to the finals. Like, at least die trying. When, when like, I forget, I don't even know the exact numbers, but, like, when Jordan left, right, mm-hmm. he left the uh, Bulls, 
they maybe won one or two less games. When LeBron left the Cavs, they were the worst team in the league. The Knicks yeah. were better. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they got Kyrie in fucking number two or some shit. And it's like, and then I'm like, yo, like Pittman was mad good. Like you guys are under like estimating how good he actually was. So when Jordan left, they won 56 games that season. That's that's literally insane. Like for a team without Jordan to win 56 games, and then for LeBron to fucking leave, and then they drop down to they get number two pick of the draft. And then if you want to talk about rings, like fuck rings, because Bill Russell won 11. So how are you even gonna like say that Jordan's the goat because he won six rings? Bill Russell won fucking 11. So, like, I, it, it diminishes the whole entire argument. Exactly. Exactly. It's just... But the one thing that separates LeBron from Kobe and Jordan was the worth ethic and, like, the, the mindset. Like, that lion mindset. You saw it every time Kobe or Jordan played, like, they were putting – they're all out in there, right? I, I don't know how they didn't get hurt, like, more than they did already. You know what I mean? Because usually when yeah. you go out that much, you want to get hurt. You see LeBron, he doesn't really do that. You saw that once in the finals when Kyrie got hurt and Kevin Love, and he started – he was like, all right, this is the finals. i got to carry it. He was unstoppable. He was un, – it was unmatched of how good of a player he was. And I was like, this is LeBron that I want to see more often. It's annoying. You know what yeah. I mean? Because you could see – how much of a dominant player he could be if you really just had that mindset of a Kobe or a Jordan. You know what I mean? But the fact yeah. that he doesn't and still has this much impact on the game, stupid. Yeah, because you see the big difference between playoff LeBron and regular season LeBron. Le- LeBron just coasting because he's like that good where you can like not try as yeah. much and still get W's and then like playoffs turn on. You see it every single fucking year except for last year because they didn't make it. But like it's literally insane. Like that guy could do anything he wants if he puts his fucking mind to it. The, cra- the craziest stat thing, and also you can see it as him and as a player, the best player from regular season to playoff season, like almost two different people, Rajon Rondo. He yeah. like averaged like three more points and like like four more assists, something like that. I don't know if I'm ske- – I'm definitely skewing the numbers, but it's like his numbers like fly up from him in the regular season to playoffs. He like – he knows what he's going for. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Yeah. No, yeah, no, it's, def- it's definitely fucking annoying. We can't. I-, I hope it comes back. I hope they don't just cancel the season because I'd be fucked. Because I think they're going to probably come back in like July. And if they do, they're going to probably jump right into the playoffs. Because I don't know. It's going to overlap seasons if you if you continue. Do you think they should continue the regular season with like about like 16 or 20 games left? <sighs> see, the only issue I see with that, see, like, I was thinking about the same thing is like, it's a huge thing is like, as in just recruiting itself, you know what I mean? Like from recruiting from high school all the way up to the professional level by pushing back these seasons and stuff, all it is is just effing the players more. You know what I mean? Mm. So like, I feel like, yes, they should have to go and like play the game. Right. Cause they just have to, but it's just going to be fucking over college level and below. You know what I mean? That's all it's yeah. going to really be in my mind. Because they're not going to get enough tension, all that stuff. Especially like, especially kids like from junior year to senior year. If Utica got your junior year highlights, you wouldn't be playing college ball. Yeah, literally. Exactly. Yeah. You went off your senior year. I had an okay junior year, and I did much better my senior year. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is how it is. And that's how everyone is, unless you're like a freak athlete. So... There it is. That's where I like see controversy. But for just we're just talking about professional. Yeah, have them play out the games. I don't know if they're gonna smash like more games in a week, something like that. I feel like you can do that with a with a basketball because it's not really that grueling on your body compared to a football. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, it is what it is. Yeah. Then you look at the drafts coming up in in June or July or whatever. So like, say say you have the draft, okay? You have your your new draft picks. For, for the upcoming season, and the season comes back in, like, August, July. What are you doing with those rookies that are coming up? Do you think do you think they would allow these fuckers to get in there and play? Because there's not going to be a summer league? On who, it's depending on it, it, it's All it's going to be is depending on everything. You know what I mean? If you have a Zion Williams, yeah. yeah. You have a Zion, you're going in. You have an R.J. Barrett, you're going in. If you're a Cam Reddish, you're going in. Yeah. But... These lower level guys, you don't really know. No one thought Tyler Harrell was going to be good. He's a yeah. baller. 
I hate him. I'm not going to say I hate him. I just don't like his image, don't like whatever. He's very cocky, full of himself, but he's a baller. I'll give it to him. He's a baller, and I wouldn't have expected that from the Summer League. Yeah, I would like to. I expected that from him in college to now. Completely different players. Yeah, and if you look at, like, Dante uh, DiVincenzo from fucking uh, Villanova, you know, how, like, circling back to what you said, like, going off senior year, like, that guy went off in the finals, and that's why he got drafted by the Bucks. And he sucked his first year, but then that next year, this his sophomore year, he did so much better on the Bucks. He's in the rotation now. So, like, that just shows that, like, these games are important for college, like collegiate athletes. You know what I mean? It's very mature. It's, like, you get more maturity the more you play. Like, I, I remember when I was just a sophomore when I got up to varsity, and, like, the jug machine would be at 60 miles per hour. I just physically wasn't, like, strong enough sometimes to hold onto the ball. And I remember my friend Devin came up to me and was like, yo, it's all right. You get that, that just comes with maturity, strength. You know what I mean? And like more mm. stuff. Senior year, my hands were glue. I'm not going to say it. I had zero drop passes all year. I did good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maturity. I don't, you know, come on. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Let's, uh, let's circle back to college. Since we're home from college, what is, what is your favorite going out drink? What do you, what can you drink the most of if you had to go out? If you had to choose any drink to, to go out and fucking drink that all night, what do you, what are you choosing? Only one drink. All right, I'll tell you this. Time. You can do. You can do. Yeah, right. You can do seltzers, and then beer, then liquor, out of those three. Okay, for seltzers, I'm gonna say right now, Bud Light seltzer is better than White Claw. It is. I like it better. The strawberry flavor kicks. I love that, but like I'm like mango. I'm, I gotta go mango. You know what I mean? Like that. But seltzers. I usually go seltzers now, just because of like all cow, like the whole carb thing. I still get the same amount of drunkenness, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Beer, going Corona all night. I could actually drink that like that's water. I love the taste alone. Mm-hmm. Um, for liquor, going to have to go like a nice chilled Patron always. I like that. You know what I mean? That's what yeah. I like. But like a mixed drink I'm going with. I remember when I that, like that, like football bowling, and I got that Moscow Mule thing. Yes, yes. Ginger beer with all that. That was delicious. That was delicious. I could drink. I I could drink so many of those. I could go with that all night. Yeah, I, I feel, yeah. Those that place had some like a lot of cool drinks and all weird colors too. Like I got some like end zone touchdown dance, whatever. It was fucking green. It was pretty good. Um, but I would say I don't know. Like definitely, I think Bud Light seltzers have better taste than White Claws. Like the taste is more profound in the Bud Light seltzer. But like if I'm going, like much lighter. I feel like it's a lighter taste too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's more of a punch of a taste, and like, like, White Claw is there for a long time. You know what I mean? Like a longer time, and almost it's like a heavier seltzer. So you yeah. can say it's a heavier yeah. seltzer. Yeah, definitely. But I'm going fucking. I don't know. I'm a big black cherry guy. I don't know what it is. Like black cherry, I can just down really? all day. Yeah, all day, every day. And then uh, I'm going for beer. I'm going Bud Light, of course. But Coronas, you can down very Are you easily. You out of your mind? Corona, Bud Corona's- Light. I, Over, I, no, no, no. I don't know. Because, like, because when I do drink Ronas out of the bottle, oh, my God. I can do that all day, every day. Like, those are the easiest things to drink, honestly. I think out of bo- bottles or cans, bottles are so much easier to drink out of. I don't know what it is. Who gets Ronas out of the can, though? You're actually a psychopath if you do that. I don't that. think they even have that, but I'm just saying. They I, do. They have it, but, like, who in their right mind would ever get that? Yeah, you, no, yeah, you're right. I guess, uh, yeah, that was a dumb comparison. But I'm just saying, compl- like, comparing uh, cans to bottles, bottles are so much easier to drink. I don't know what it is. I think it's the carbonation or some shit. And then if we're going liquor, I don't know. I fuck around with a lot of liquor. I, I get this one drink called the Junior Special at this one bar in my, in my fucking uh, school, and they put, like, every liquor ever in it. It's like Jungle Juice at the fucking bar. They put, like, Picardi, <laughs> Svetka, all that shit. Like, I don't go to a lot of bars. It's mostly house parties. You know what I mean? And when yes. I do go to bars, I just pregame, and then I, all I'm doing is fucking down claws for the rest of the night. You know what I mean? When I'm at the bar. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Or I'll get, like, I'll get like the $5 pitcher or something like that. You know what I mean? Like like something cheap. Like I don't, you know what I mean? Yeah, you just I have, guess. I'm there to keep it consistent. I'm not trying to get, I'm getting plastered before I get to the bar. I'm not That's getting yeah. plastered after. Yeah, you gotta save money. You gotta save fucking money. Exactly. Yeah, if you, waste, you, you fucking bring 40 bucks to the bar, you wake up the next day, you got like one dollar, you're like, what the fuck? I have the, more, the amount of times that I've told myself, no more than 20 bucks tonight, alright? That's like five drinks, okay? 
I'm like sixty dollars deep in like my Venmo, and I'm like, oh my god, what is going on right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you like you see like the magical ATM lit up and everything. You're just like, oh my god, I could so do I could so do this right now. Like, fuck it. You go to the ATM. You're like, I hate myself, but who cares? It's really just like a fuck it type of moment. You can just all right, fuck it, let's go. Yeah, exactly. All right, so let's see. What else can we fucking talk about? You know how. How is it online compared to fucking in school? I think online's ass. This is the thing. Online, you have to learn it much more by yourself. But when you're online, who is to stop you from looking at the textbook next to you for an answer? Who isn't doing that? You're lying if you're saying you're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I do that every so, target. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's easier, but it's, like, harder at the same time. If you don't know your shit, and then, like, my one test was timed. I had one hour to do it. So, like, I couldn't yeah. go through, like, all my notes and, and fucking figure it out. So, like, I don't know. It was it was a little annoying. Yeah, the teachers like, do no, that. like, it, trust me, like, I've still, like, struggled on tests. Has it been easier? And also, I feel like, for me, I'm able to focus more for the test when it's just me in my room taking a test on my laptop. Just my laptop and my, me in the test. That's it. Sometimes, most of the time, I still don't even look at my notes or anything like that. I just know the content. But, like, mm-hmm. if I do need to learn it or, like, I don't know something, all right, there it is. Yeah, you, know you, got, I mean? you got Google all, right on you know, there. Even if that's sacred heart, like, this girl, I, like, I was talking to for, like, we were just, like, talking, and she said that when they take a test, they have to keep their camera on, and their teacher could look at them as they're taking the test. So they can't use their phone. They can't look at notes. Nothing. What? How crazy is that? I would be like, my camera doesn't work. I'm sorry. I wouldn't, I wouldn't let that happen. I just wouldn't let that happen. No fucking oh, shot. It, it was like this. It was like that. And they like locked your laptop when you were in the test. So you couldn't open up a new page. Or you automatically get a zero. Like something crazy like that. It's fucking like, fuck that. Fuck that. Absolutely. No, but I, uh, fucking talking about college, when you go out, fucking always wearing jerseys. I just got my Shaq jersey, fucking from China. DH Gate, I'm telling you, 12 bucks for a Shaquille O'Neal Magic jersey. It's got it off a of DH Gate? Yeah. It's a hack. It's a fucking hack. Because no one ever knows it's, like, fake or real. Yeah, no, one, no one's going to come up to you and be like, yeah, that's fake. Like, no one's saying that. You know yeah, what I mean? Like maybe back in middle school when you had like some fake Jordans on, if you were like, oh, sneakerheads, be like, yeah, those shoes, aren't real. Shoes are a different story. Shoes are different because that's easy to tell sometimes. Yeah. Some I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know the difference. But like, sometimes it's pretty easy to tell. Yeah. Definitely. Fuck. <sighs> no, I don't know. Fucking, are you excited about MW2 being remastered for Xbox? Okay. Listen. For the MW2, I've been saying this for a while, they didn't need to make any new CODs. They didn't. Mod- the new Modern Warfare is dope. I like the Warzone. The gameplay is good. Maps suck, though. That's what it is. What they should have done is remaster the MW2 like they did, but they're only remastering the campaign. Remaster the multiplayer that everyone loves so much. That's what everyone wants. No one really cares about the campaign. Like, yeah, we might play it, but who the heck cares? Everyone yeah. wants the multiplayer. Everyone wants the multiplayer. Yeah, they, they fucking they remastered the multiplayer for for uh, Modern Warfare One, and then, like that seemed like all right. Like it was better than the fucking Infinite Warfare that came out with it. So like I'd I'd play Modern Warfare more than I played the actual COD that came out that year. COD peaks at Black Ops Two. I would say yeah, Black Ops Two will never be beaten. I don't think like any game after that will never beat that game. I think I that was the only game that was the first time in Call of Duty well, listen, where I was up till five MW, in the morning playing. And W three Black Ops two. Those are the top three games right there. Black Ops is that's when it really came out with like good zombies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that those zombies were good. But everything else like nothing else was like really that great. Like Modern Warfare started it, right? Modern Warfare started off and then what was it? Black Ops sec- no, it was Modern Warfare and then Modern Warfare two. I think I think it's like World at War was mixed in there too, or maybe that was before. Well, that. I don't know. I think. When, all right, let's say it's like Modern Warfare. No, it was because it's Call of Duty Five, World at War, right? 
Yeah, I think so. So, so from so first Modern Warfare, World at War, two good games. Modern Warfare Two, that was a game changing game. The intervention, one of the, the hands down the greatest sniper of all time. Yeah, Great game. agreed. Black Ops came out. The best story mode, the best campaign you'd ever play. I think that campaign was insane with the Reznov and the numbers with Mason. That shit was dope. And you get to MW two, Black Ops two, MW three. Those three games. That's when shit really got insane. Like those three games were like the golden age of COD. Yeah, agreed. Like I don't know, it was just like. It's one of those things where it's like those games will always be played. Like I, w- I still go back. I was like when I was at school with my roommates, we played Zombies Black Ops Two, like fucking all these like maps and uh, what the fuck? What, what was the one with like Leroy Jenkins? Fuck. Oh, uh, buried. Barry. Yeah, yeah. Buried's where it's fucking at. It's just so much fun. And then like now Zombies is like eh. Like I don't know. They brought back. Uh, Alcatraz and shit, and like the what would you call it in uh, Black Ops 4. But like, I don't know. I don't I, I, It's just like, I'm done with it. Like, they stepped away from doing advanced shit with like exosuits and shit, which I'm kind of happy about because it's like, I so think happy. we can. Yeah, I think. That. Yeah, what, fucking. What was it? Which uh one was like the first advanced one to do exosuits? Oh, right, was an advanced warfare. Yeah, advanced warfare. That was the worst. Fu- that and Ghost. Two of the worst fucking Call of Duty's ever came Ghost? out. Trash. Advanced Warfare, trash. Infinity Warfare, trash. Okay? Black Ops 4 had an awful, awful Battle Royale mode. You had to, like, stim yourself every time you wanted. It's so stupid. Hated it. Hated it. Yeah. It was... It was It wasn't good. You're, gonna, you're not going to do a campaign for Black Ops 4, but you're going to, like, do this shitty-ass Battle Royale because everyone's doing Battle Royale. And I'm tired. The only thing I have a problem against Modern Warfare right now is that there's a fucking battle pass, and every season we have to go back to level 55. Why is there not prestigious? Like, why the fuck we're not doing prestigious? Just because you want to make more money off the, a $60 game? I just, I hate that shit. Exactly. It's starting to become a. It's you, but it's not enough to be a pay to win yet. You know what I mean? Because like the thing is like. You can get these new guns, but none of the guns are as OP as the other ones. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, the Gwa is a good gun, though. Like, that's a good gun, but nothing's going to step to the M4. You yeah, not, I mean? a, not at all. And I, I think, fucking, if you have the 725, you're fucking cheat code in that game. Like, that, I, that, I, not one time ever has a shotgun been that powerful in a game. Yeah, they tried buffing it, but it didn't work. And then, like, it's just like, I've. <laughs> I'm like getting fucked up by these these uh these seven two fives and then I joined them and I was like all right I'm a seven two five guy now just so I can like just fuck everyone up and I got a gold in like a week it was so easy. Are you that you shit on seven two five players and then you started using the seven two five? Uh yeah no that's correct because I was tired of the shit so I joined them it was join or die so I I joined and then now they added with the like the model something like that the oh, model yeah, shotgun bro? yeah. yeah the, fucking fire bullets like what is that shit just so you could try to like beat out the 725 it's not gonna work like that but that's like a thing to like do like a like a buy to win because you have to buy it don't you to get the dragon breath no i don't i don't know i i think maybe if you have to you buy the battle pass you can get it or some shit or maybe you have to unlock it by doing some like bullshit with the gun I- yeah, I saw that, but, like, it's not working. Like, I was trying to do them, and, like, none of the stats were, like, computing. It was annoying. Yeah, that oh. was, like, that was like when you had to get, like, 25 kills with the car or whatever to get the crossbow. Yeah. And the crossbow is ass, too. Like, I'm not using the fucking crossbow. Like, why do I need to do this shit just so I can get a gun? Just so I can get a shitty crossbow. I yeah. hate that. But, uh, hmm. Huh. Let's see. Let's see. We got we got PS5 and the new Xbox coming out in, in November, or December. Which one okay. are you choosing? What's the new Xbox's name? Like Shadow Claw or something like that. What I don't even fuck. I don't even know. It's some bullshit. First of all, I'm probably still gonna go Xbox just because all my friends have Xbox. That's how it is. And the new Xbox is promising. Okay, I'm putting this in quotations. Promising that there's no more like load up time. So if you want to go play GTA 5, you don't have to wait for a load up screen. It's going right into the game. 
Yeah, and I don't, I don't like the fucking idea that if I buy a disc, I have to download the disc onto my game, like onto my Xbox One. Why do I? If I have a yeah. disc, like, what happened to the day when I so just threw stupid. it in? I hate that. I hate that. That is so stupid. If I get a disc, let me fucking play it, okay? But the whole no loading thing, how is that even possible? I don't know. I, I, I don't even know. It's so weird. It actually takes you ten minutes. On like a good Xbox new one to play GTA Five, but on the new Xbox, like I think they're all. Part, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be all PC parts in an Xbox, and it's just gonna be called an Xbox. Because all it's gonna be is just a PC with an Xbox logo on it. That's all it's gonna be at this point. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, how long do you think the jump's gonna take from gen to gen? From like Xbox Three, because we saw it before Xbox 360 to Xbox One. Like it took it took a little bit, I think. Like how fast you think that like jumps? Two years, I'd say that probably took, right? Yeah, probably. Right around two years. Are they gonna make it again though, where you have to buy the new one and you won't be able to play with the Xbox One to that one? Are they gonna make it like that? What do you say? What do you mean? Like, you remember how, like, Xbox 360 was, like, a thing, and then they brought in the Xbox One, and no one wanted to play Xbox One? Like, everyone thought you'd still be able to play with each other, but they wouldn't allow it? Oh, I know what you're saying. Okay. So, like, if yeah, I from... have an Xbox One, can I go play with the new Xbox? Yeah, I don't think so, because there'd be no point, I think. Exactly. Because, like, they have, to sh- they have to move out the Xbox One, and they have to, like, market it as a whole new thing. So they're not gonna wanna have people playing together and cross like other gens. It's never been like that. It was, it's like you can't play with the PS4 and PS3 or, or all the way down. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. And what's like great? I feel like what's a great game that came out on Xbox One? Red Dead Redemption Two, I think that's the only one. But the, but their exclusives are fucking dog shit. What exclusive does Xbox have? Like Titanfall? I don't give two fucks about that game. Halo, that's like our big one. Yeah, Halo, but like that's so faded. That's like back in Xbox 360 days. That's not even Xbox Halo One really. Halo. Like I will still buy every single Halo that comes out. Like the new Halo that's coming out looks awesome. It's like it's like a Skyrim type where you can just go and run around. It's like a free world. Yeah. Like it's dope. And I think they're waiting. Like, I think it's called the Scarlet, the Xbox Scarlet. I don't. I'm not positive, right? Let me let me look it up. But like, the new Xbox name. It is called Scarlet. It's gonna be how much will the Xbox Scarlet cost? Classic four ninety nine. You know what I mean? What four hundred ninety nine? You said. Yeah, the new Xbox is going to be that. It's going to be the Xbox Scarlet will be five hundred dollars. Yeah, and you see the, the fucking shape of the thing? It's like a rectangular prism. It's a rectangle. It's a, yeah, like it, it's a computer. It's literally a tower. It's literally a tower. You got one terabyte of storage. Uh, yeah, this is literally like. It's gonna be insane. I don't know. You see the controllers for PS5? No. Oh my god, bro. They look like they, they look like literally look it up. It looks like a PS5 or P, like a PS4 controller and an Xbox One controller combined in one. Like that's what it looks like. It's called Dual Sense. But... They stole the Xbox controller. That's what it is. Yeah, literally. Wait, no. Wait, that's weird. I know. That's what I'm saying. I hate how your fingers are so close on, like, a PS4 controller. You know what I mean? That's what I don't like about it. That's why Xbox controllers are so much better. Yeah, the controller's way too small for PS4, I think. But I do like the fact that you can get game audio out of your controller. Like, when you're playing when you're playing GTA on PS4, like... The... That is cool, yeah. The, and you yeah, can like... use your, like, headphones, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that, that's the, the new controller is going to have, like, a, a speaker in it, like, a headset in it built in, so you don't have to have a mic on. Like, you talk mm-hmm. through your controller, which is kind of game-changing, in a way. But, I don't know. Let's see. What, what else did you want to bring up today? 
on this on this sauna talk episode one. All right. I mean, nothing like there's a whole bunch we could talk about, but let's leave it short. We're gonna leave you guys off with this. Every single new episode coming out from here could be us, but a lot of times it'd be some special guests, and we're gonna bring on some weirdos onto this show. All right. So all that you gotta do is just enjoy the weirdos that are actually gonna be on this show. Some are going to be sort of normal. Some are going to be completely out of their minds. Some might be crackheads. Some might do this. Some might do that. But just enjoy the ride and just trust and just want to talk. That's all I can say. <laughs> Johnny, anything? Any parting words? Uh, no, thanks for joining us. If you took the time out of your day to listen to our 30 fucking five minute rant of just random shit, I appreciate it. And it's just going to get better over time. Oh, my God. We have so much shit we can yeah. talk about. We have the craziest stories ever. All right, well, that's how it is. Stay steamy, people.